Good evening, this is Pastor John, and the uh, title of my sermon is Totally Saved, or Totally Delusional. Uh, in these last of the last days, I've been getting a lot of friendship requests. I've been being inundated by them, actually. Um, 200 a day. Most of these people are scammers. I'm sad and grieved by this because I take time to go through each person who sends me a friend request to make sure whether they're legitimate or not, they're true Christians or whether they're trying to run a scam. Um, I noticed in these last of the last days, there's a lot of people who are not totally Christian, but they're totally delusional. Uh, you send friendship requests, you claim Christianity, you have Christianity on your wall, you post 100 things a day about Christianity, and yet your friends are all floozies, and your likes are all floozies and uh, stuff that a Christian should not be liking. Uh, you get comments on your post from women like this and strange men, if you know what I mean. Uh, I don't have time for this, and neither, neither do... Uh, all the Christians today. We're in the last of the last days. We got to kick up our, our fight. We got to fight the good fight of faith and stay true and faithful to God's calling. It says in Luke 6, um, 43 to 45, for a good tree bringeth not forth corrupt fruit, neither doth a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. For every tree is known by his own fruit. For of thorns men do not gather figs, nor of bramble bush gather they grapes. A good man out of the good treasures of his heart bringeth forth that which is good, and an evil man out of the evil treasures of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. You know what? That is very true. You know, in these last days, you think you could hide stuff from, the, from God Almighty. You think you could um, pull the wool over his eyes. You think you could pull the wool over a Christian's eyes. But you know what? A true Christian has discernment of the Spirit. He is led by the Spirit. He is led by the Holy Spirit, God Almighty, to tell the difference between what is right and what is wrong. How do we get this? By being truly born again, truly purified, raptured, and captured away in these last days. You know where you get all this from? Through prayer, through totally giving your life over to the Lord, through reading His book, for putting these words upon your heart and your soul and your mind, and turning not to the world and the things of this world. You know... It's really sad because I see all these people, like I said, they're playing pretend Christianity. They're sending me friendships saying, you know, oh, I'm a Christian. I got all this going on. You know, they have their gold watches and they have their, uh, you know, $800 suits and everything. And, um, you know, you sit and you think about these people. How delusional they are. What are they trying to do? Are they trying to bring people into the kingdom or are they trying to lead people straight to hell? Be wise in these last days. It's like it says, be wise as serpents, but harmless as doves. We are called to walk a walk, to, to walk the walk and talk the talk of Jesus Christ. We are not called in these last days to follow false teachers, false prophecies, or any false circumstances that are being preached out there. I don't know about you, but my time is precious. Uh, going through some things here, you know, um, physical, uh, other things. I want to redeem my time for the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to make sure every second that I have free, I am bringing praise, honor, and glory to him. I am not going to follow sheep and wolves, wolves in sheep's clothing, and I'm not going to be f suckered in by false trees who produce rotten fruit. This is Pastor John checking out, saying, peace, love, and joy, I leave you. Get into that book. We are in the last of the last days. Get in the book of Revelations. Man alive. Every day, prophecy is being fulfilled. Every day, the Lord is drawing closer. Who knows? Could be tomorrow. It could be today. Are you prepared? Are you ready for the coming of the Lord? Check you out later.